What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Nanifia Scarlett. And I'm married to do reacting to Charlie Kirk, the Summit Socialist Student. So, without further ado, let's, let's get started. That's it. So, I would agree with you that authoritarian socialist states like Cuba and Venezuela have been disasters. But if you look at the Scandinavian social democracies, they outperform the U.S. on all. You don't want to go down this the rabbit myth, hole, my the friend. The myth of the well, Scandinavian socialism. Yeah, they outperform the U.S. in GDP per capita, education outcomes, and life expectancy. Still so going down the path. So let's ask Charlie the question: Kirk. World Economic Freedom Index, which ranks each country by how much economic freedom there is. You do know that Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark rank higher than the United States. They have more economic freedom. That is not socialist. That is capitalist. In many ways, the Scandinavian countries are more capitalistic than we are. Where they're not is where they where universal health care, or they give out a bunch of stuff. I don't want to live in a country of a 70% tax rate, but as far as you rank, rank the economic freedom index, they're much higher. So you would support the deregulation of the economy, the repealing of Dodd-Frank, the lowering of small business taxes, the abolition of the FICA tax. You would support all these things, which are inherently anti-socialist, inherently anti-democrat. Would you support those things? So my question was actually, are there, I agree that there are a lot of capitalist elements, and I think that's good. My question is, are there aspects in the Scandinavian system that we could incorporate into the United States? Yeah, school choice in Sweden, for example. They have full school choice in Sweden. We should have full school choice in America. And, and not to mention, let's take Norway, for example. Norway has a trillion dollar sovereign wealth fund. Um, and how much does, Candace, how much do the Scandinavian states pay for military every year? Oh, uh, zero dollars because we pay for their military and we should stop doing that. Wow. It, they're also homogeneous, so these are fundamentally 98% white countries, 5 million people, so it's about the size of New Jersey, and people are trying to compare it to a country with 330 million people, a country that's actually diverse and allows immigrants to come in. So it, you're comparing apples and oranges, and they, they just don't compare whatsoever. Wow. Okay. So I, I love this, you know, I, I know sometimes, even in, uh, in some dictatorship country, you see, people still enjoy staying there because you know they are benefiting so when we talk about um capitalism social you know socialism um i think i get what charlie is saying because even if um charlie don't like the idea that they are practicing socialism but there are some things that they are doing right that oof, that charlie feels like the u.s need to learn from just like their education you see they, they privatize more of um their um, what's it called their college so when you privatize things you kind of introduce competition into the market it's just like um i'm looking for a brand that solely produces. okay let's say our gadgets our cell phone if only apple have the opportunity to produce smartphone they will control the price control the market you see but when you give opportunity to samsung oppo and other brands to you know enter the market you see they'll bring down the cost down because you know if you don't put down your cost your competitors will, you know, assign you. I think that is where Nokia failed. Well, Nokia owns a different thing because Nokia did not go to um, innovation. But I think you get the idea because um, even if Charlie prom promotes, you know, capitalism whereby everyone is free to do whatever they want to do, you know, you can decide to... You know, I think Charlie was making... He made mention of um, our educational sector whereby... Um, I think... Okay, sorry. Let me go back over it again. In a certain video we watched, Charlie said something about, you know, education, you know, wh whereby um, there are laws in the U.S. that prevent you from, you know, firing a teacher, it, even if the teacher is underperforming. Because of that law, oh, really? yeah, they have to keep on teaching, you know. And the thing is, the students are the one paying the price because, you know, the, the teacher have the right to do whatever they want to do and you can't hold them accountable for it. Let's say they have certain you know, years they can teach before you can, you know, hold them accountable. And I feel like it's not supposed to be so. If if you are doing something and it's not right, you should be held accountable. You should be sacked. And new people that are qualified should take over. And, and I think that is why Charlie is against public institutions because it feels like private institutions do a better work. Even if public institutions charge more in terms of school fees and the rest, but private in, um, institutions try their best to, you know, have more and more qualified staff and something like that. But people are always campaigning that the, sh the education system should be free. Yeah, but so if it becomes free, there is no privatization no, in that no, one. That is it. You see, people <laughs> are campaigning for it to be free, but I think Charlie is not in support of it being free. That is my own take because, you know, if if education is free, the money is coming from somewhere. Is that coming okay. for private individual? I mean private individual funding it or government is taxing private individual 
you see because anytime government try to do certain things okay we are we are we are doing this we are doing this people are paying for those things and so do you agree the fact that uh, us too should learn their capitalization from um, those sweden and yeah. other countries yeah uh, like like i said um you know in the first place you see not everything is good you know us are trying but you can also learn something you can learn how to you know privatize you know your your, your universities or your college you can learn how to privatize it so that you know private sector can be given upper hand or you know it's 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 just like that you know if you, if you make it a government kind of thing the price will be too too much but when you privatize it like no more individual can just you know wake up one morning and start up their own institution and bring down the cost i think i watched a video whereby charlie made mention of this um eye surgery he said they were charging a whole lot for it but when they pri privatize it you know now you can get your eye surgery for like 700 dollars because of competition now the price have dropped i love this so much and i really want to check out more videos yeah. from charlie and candice and we want to know what you also think about this do you agree with charlie or we should go with our fatty guy <laughs> <laughs> so guys that's the end of the video if you enjoyed this video click on the like button if you want to see more videos like this click on the subscribe button thanks for watching and remember this